Hey guys, what do you best here? And basically in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a modded sawmill. Because I know I've already done this video, right guys? But people keep saying onto my videos that it's not working, even though it is, right guys? And yeah, it does get annoying. Because people actually do believe it, click off the video and dislike it and stuff. And it's annoying because of that. Alright? And even though it does work, I'm about to show you guys it actually works. And I'm going to show you what I think you're doing wrong because people keep saying it's not loading and it's not disappearing. The, the thing's not disappearing, right? So, let's go straight for it again. Alright? So, basically, if this. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place. Right? So, I'm going to place this. right here right so remember that guys it's in line with this right just like that and the stats all the way up the stats are all the way up right so now what you want to do is you want to load it right you want to go to the slot that you're currently on and reload it right and when you place the slot again, alright, what you're gonna do is before it all loads in, before it, like, or it all loads in, like, since, like, it, until your money comes through, basically on the top right, yeah, you can, you have your time to move it, right? Right, you have time to move the. Well, that's annoying. That's just. All right. You have time just to move and place it quickly. That's all you have to do. Just click move and place, and then it disappears. Right? One second. Oh, this is my second attempt on this video because my base went load in. Right, you have to make sure it's in, you're in the right place. I don't know where I am. I'm just gonna go with it. Right, so now you wanna do is grab this one, move, and just press B if you want. There you go. Before any of it loads in, you have to do that, right? That's what everybody's getting wrong. I know. <laughs> and then basically what you wanna do is click move for this one. You just wanna jump up like this. You wanna get it in the correct place. Just like that, and then that happens like that. Right, and all you have to do now is just reload your slot again. That's all you have to do. But first, I might just put this on. Boom. There we go. And that's all you have to do is put a trap door right there, just like that, so it goes through the middle, right? So when the tree does come through, it will block it. All right, there you go. And then just want to load the base in again. Reload. We'll just go over here. There you go. Let's just go over here then. And hopefully it loads in quicker than usual. There we go, just do this. Like that. And as you can see, boom. Right, nothing has changed, right guys? That's that's good, right? Nothing will change, right? You won't see any difference in it right now. Right this second, you won't see any difference in it. Except when you click back on one of these things. Is that increasing or decreasing? I don't think that's increasing. As soon as you click decrease on one of them, see? Modded, right? That is modded, right? People keep telling me it's not working, right? Right now, 
I'm gonna look at the change log. Right, the the chop saw fix right there, December fourth. Right, right now it's December the tenth. Right, so you know it's working, and everything like that. So sweet. I don't know why I got a silver axe on me, but let's go and try and get a modded piece of wood. Alright guys, I've actually just got this tree right here. What I did is cut off the tiny ends like these. These ends right here. Just the loose ends, right? So you got basically the stem and just like a couple of ends just sticking out right now. I did most of them down there so there's like not a lot of you know. Yeah, this would be classed as a loose end right there. Those those three right there. It's just because um it's easier to move them. So then you can just pull it in like that, and then what I want to do is just move forward with it, and then you can just cut off whatever's stopping you from just putting it in. Right there we go, like that, and then that happens, and then what you want to do is click move, and then press B. If it's not at the end. You can see. Alright, it's not quite at the end yet. I wonder what's stopping it. There we go. We're just gonna have that right there. And then click B again. Right. A and B right there. Right. I think this this bit here is stopping it and Alright, this is not a good one guys, because two ends are stopping it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop off one one end. The best ones are the ones that just no ends stop. There you go. Uh, it's still not complete. There we go. Just like that, guys. And that happens. This is meant to be closed. If it's closed, it gets a, a, a longer one. But, yeah. Just want to move everything out of the way before it glitches out. Just like that, guys. That's how you're meant to pull it in and everything out, so it's all good. There you go. See, this is how big. This is a small one, actually, guys. I'm not. I'm not joking when I say this. This is class as a small one.
but it doesn't want to stand up for some reason. I don't know why, but it keeps glitching under the floor, so... Yeah, we're just going to allow it just to... Just stack it up here like that. Like, the reason why I stand them up is so um, they don't glitch underneath the floor. Great success. I didn't even know that was a thing. I don't think it's going to last long. We just all right. So this floor. Whoa. You, you you see now, right, guys? To get this under the out of the floor, get this out of the floor. All you have to do is just that. <laughs> just spam X on it and then move it. So yeah. Anyway, guys, the reason why I signed it up is because it, it doesn't lag underneath the floor if you do it, but, yeah. Anyway, guys, see you in the next video, and hope you have a good day. Peace.